Hey everybody, welcome back to Phoenix Point, where we're going to jump into this Prisoner of Ice mission to secure the cryogenics lab. We actually have two manticores there right now with two crews. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to take everyone in because three spots are being taken by a scarab, but we'll see what happens. We'll do the special mission. Let's start the mission. So, uh, it's, well, I'll just go ahead and read it again in case you missed the end of last episode. Our operatives have discovered the cryogenics laboratory Symes mentioned in his notes. It appears to have been a government facility, possibly a black site of some kind. As far as we can tell, Symes came here to examine samples collected in the 1960s. Unfortunately, the facility has been compromised and now functions as a base for a group of raiders. Okay, uh, what's your problem, dude? Oh, you just have two slots empty. Yep, that's right. And you... Your equipment is not fully loaded. It looks pretty loaded. Ten of eight, so we have to drop something. Or drop someone. Um, I want to keep the Scarab. Because the Scarab has been pretty instrumental in keeping us safe. Maybe we don't need a regular assault. Uncheck you. And we won't need our second sniper. We're going with a heavy. Two basically hybrid assaults. A sniper. That sniper hybrid, a uh, full-on heavy, and this technician, which we don't know how they work. So maybe this will be a good chance to see how how they work, because we'll be able to rely on the rest of our squad if they don't work out too well. Vehicles can carry troops in uh, in them during a mission, and can also be used for scouting ahead. Due to their large movement range, we haven't really been using much of the the carrying troops. I don't think we've ever done that except for in the first tutorial mission. But here we are at the edge of the uh, edge of the black site space. There's so there's raiders, so there's humans here, potentially. A lot of places for them to hide under uh, under roofs so that we can't hit them with missiles. Obtain the research data. We're supposed to go here. There is a window. If we could get around the back, we could hop through the windows. And where is our evac in case we need it? Is it back where we are? No, it's on the other side. So, what if we loop? What if we try to keep around the side this huge boulder? A hill could be good cover if we need it. So yeah, let's try to skirt the left and then come around the back side of the building. I don't want to block our way. Who are you? You're the heavy. So that's why you don't have uh, a lot of movement. You're the technician, and you just have some auto turrets. Okay. On my way. Nothing. Now we can move the scare about a bit. 
Oh, you did not need to break his cover, but that's okay. Well, he only has side cover, not the important cover. All right. Moving fast. Running. And you guys, you're kind of out in the open, so can you please... I don't know if you can shoot anything now where you're at, though, because of the, uh, the scarab. You can't step out to the side. Let's hope we don't see anything. Oh, found a heavy. Found a, another heavy. Okay, so they got the high ground. That's not good. What kind of armor do they have? Cool looking head gear though. Praetorian armor, Praetorian helmet, Praetorian armor. They've got a machine gun. You've got a machine gun. What was your equipment? Or your? You have a heavy training and you're a brawler. And you, sir, or madam? Brawler and a war cry. All enemies within 10 turns have their action points reduced. Uh, or 10 turns, 10 tiles. So we don't want to get close to that guy. But we probably didn't want to get close to him anyways because of his, uh, you know, being a heavy. So you can't see anything from there, but that's okay. That's really not cover at all. That's a broken chain link fence. I cannot move my scarab because this guy's in the way. So let's move him up a little bit. I'm a little, little scared about that. I'm on the move. So this might be a good spot for you. You get kind of half cover everywhere. Surprised they didn't see that. Surely they know where we are. I mean, they have to know. Could jump jet, but that's not great. You don't have a lot of movement either, Mr. Technician. Not a lot of good, uh, good spots here, unfortunately. Guess I think we'll open up with the sniper. Acquiring target. It's pretty armored, but we should try to take the arm. If we can take the arm, he's probably screwed as far as weapons go. We missed, didn't we? We missed completely. That's great. That's so small. So we might just, with this guy, be better off pushing him closer. I'm glad I didn't see anything over here. That could have been very dangerous. Can we pop down a turret? I don't have a lot of shot here, unfortunately, but don't want to dither. I'm going to make... take some actions. And that was a big waste. Go. Feel kind of bad about uh, clustering our guys Ready here. Ready to engage. What in the world? Like, how would we. There's no way we're missing this much. Or are we? So, you know what? It's time for missile time, sucker. Against this guy or against this guy? This guy's pretty far away. This guy's pretty close. So maybe close man. Well, 
Sucks to be you. Please come down. Overwatch. <laughs> Hot potato. Oh. Did we just hide behind an explosive barrel and kill this guy immediately? Holy crap. I'm very sorry, Putienko. Incredibly sorry. That was very stupid of me. Not sure about this. Oh, we spotted somebody else. Well. Oh, so somebody was overwatched. And you don't have a... We could potentially heal this guy. Maybe. Lost, like, both of his legs, his head, his arm. Okay, note to self. Make sure I'm not standing on top of explosive barrels. This guy's gotta go. We know that. Just whoever this is, they have to die. Well, I may want to move and kind of block this guy if I can. Kind of protect him if I am at all able to. Enemy spotted. I spotted, uh... Berserker? A disciple of Anu Berserker? Well, you're not a disciple of Anu, but you have a disciple of Anu equipment. I don't think you're a disciple of Anu. I think you're just an independent... weirdo. Let's see if we can get in here. Maybe if we can dash. And then can you please heal? Thank you very much. Now you can um, go hide somewhere please. There's a sniper way back here that I'm pretty afraid of. And I can't get here, because that would be great cover. This is pretty open on this side. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get some eyes on whatever is back there. Enemy spotted. What do I spot? Oh, how did I not see you before? Sniper. Melina Zhu. Well, I have. I could dash. I could dash to here. No rest for the wicked. And then fire at you. Could also maybe um. Rally the troops, but that would take. I wouldn't be able to shoot. Ready to fire. If I could knock out the arm, sniper rifle is toast. I think the sniper rifle is toast because I don't think you can shoot a sniper rifle with only one arm. You, technician, what do I want to do with you? And retrieve the turret. It takes two action points. And then maybe, you know, I think I'm just coming here. Running. Leave the turret, what's that? 
and you. Um, Overwatch? I'll keep my eyes open. Ugh. Ooh, did some good damage to our, uh, Scarab there. Take this. Uh, not. Oh, you must have just been a pistol shot. Let's get moving. What happened to that uh, extra heavy? It's got to be out here somewhere. Sniper, do you see anything? You see nothing. You're Overwatch. Probably Overwatch back here, maybe. Something's got to be Overwatch back there. Moving out. Nothing. Hmm. Can't get any good vision on you. Um, you're still pretty banged up. Can you go into the scarab, please? And hopefully the scarab doesn't die. You, sir. Um, you cannot. What if I bring the scarab closer? Then can you get inside? You can't, but you can get a little... Maybe you can next turn. And I could perhaps... Take a shot at whatever's back here. Just maybe stupid. Well, it hit somebody. I heard him scream. Oh, there may be two. Might have got both somehow. It was really risky. But it might have paid off. How can I not see whoever that is? Oh, he's like tucked in. Good. On my way. If they pop out, you let them have it. Moving out. Yeah, I think this is an over another Overwatch game. See who wants to blink first. <coughs> Somebody died. Somebody ran Action. for it. Target hit. Sucks to be you, dude. So equipment. Can I tell what is in the equipment? No, I must have to be right on top of it. Okay, you, Mr. Beat Up Dude, just get in the vehicle. Try to come forward a little bit. Have no vision, apparently. Which is really odd. Dead guy. Probably someone running to an evac. There's no evac back here unless they can just get... I think they can just get to the edge of the map. They don't have to be at a specific spot like we do. Um, I'm on the so let's tuck in here. And can we see what's on the floor? Can we see what's on the ground? No, not... Inventory? Just a sniper rifle magazine? I'll leave it. I don't like your positioning. There's nothing you can really get to. I could dash you, but it seems like a waste of will points just to move one square closer. Moving fast. So I'll use your turn. 
Actually, you know what? I'll move you even further. If I have to use a turn, I'll use a turn completely. Same for you, Sniper. And Technician, that I don't know exactly how to work with. On the double. That was not great. Is everyone dead or gone? Did everyone run? Were you the second heavy? Or did the second heavy just peace out? Well, I'm still gonna play it pretty safe. Because I don't know what is going to happen. Very tempting to just run straight in here. I'm gonna overwatch down this hallway, down through this room. Again, probably a silly thing to do, but I'm doing it. Technician, get up here. I haven't really used you too well, because I don't know what to do with you. If in, in a defensive position, you might be great. But for right now... I said I was going to loop around back. But this is a great hidey hole here. As long as no one comes from behind me. But you would think they would have, uh, get a little cross action here. Cross coverage. You would think if there was someone behind me, they would have shown themselves by now. This, I can't believe this is half cover. This is full cover game. Game is jumping back to me pretty quickly, like there's nothing else here. But I don't want to be complacent, because that's how you die. I said we were going to go around back, but you know what? No plan ever survives confrontation with the enemy, or whatever they say. run upstairs and try to guard from there, but Just keep keep covering. Come out here and let's see if we can't check out what's in this bag. Well, you know what? No. That's not not smart. Let's not do that. Let's just put a turret down. Right here. Hopefully it can see over. I don't actually think it can see over the uh, cover, though. Alright, I'm going to just use a turn over watching. Um, Overwatch, there you are. Can't believe I lost track of it after 11 hours of however long we played this. Yeah, there's got to be no nobody else here. Has to be. On my way. Yep, <laughs> that was it. So we, we, uh, did all that, uh, cautiousness. We were so cautious for nothing.
Obtain the research data to secure the cryo lab. And what will that give us? What do we benefit there? Probably a research thing. Huh? With this facility secured, our operatives have carefully retrieved this viral samples that were stored here. They are less in less shape, less than ideal shape, excuse me. But preliminary analysis suggests it's extremely likely that we're looking at some version of the Pandora virus. A more rigorous analysis will be initiated immediately. 200 tech, 200 food, 200 materials. I needed that. Speci specifically needed the materials. In the 1960s, the Phoenix Project clashed with an unknown intelligent outfit associated with the CIA. One of these clashes concerned the cultures stored in this lab, said to be responsible for a terrible plague somewhere in what was then called the Third World. At the time of his death, my great-grandfather was trying to force the CIA to at least share some samples, but they denied everything, even the existence of this lab. It looks like the research was abandoned in the late 1970s. I'm not sure why. The samples are degraded, but if my analysis is correct, this is the Pandora virus. Sometimes I wonder whether the only reason we survived as a species is sheer luck. All right, so we've been holding on to the Pandora virus for quite a while. So is that a research? That's not a research. You think that'd be a research item? Well, we're going to have to take our manticores and send them home. Could set up a area scan here. pretty cheap and gets us a good chunk of this of Mexico and southern United States it is overlapping a little bit like if we pushed out to uh, to this base this New Jericho base an area scan it's probably a better option but it's not a big waste if we just overlap so Manticore 1 I mean, Manticore 2, this guy's pretty beat up. And these, the Scarab needs some healing. So I'll take them back to the nearest base. Which may be all the way down here, honestly. Seems pretty equidistant. Come home and rest for a second. It's, it's a bit of a waste, but whatever. Oh, there's a spot. Just rest up and heal, please. The Widening Gyre. Several members of base personnel have been caught sleepwalking and drawing elliptical shapes on the walls and an overlapping, almost hypnotic pattern that induces feelings of anxiety in onlookers. On waking, the individuals were confused, but otherwise unaffected. All of them reported dreams of flight. Alright, crew of Manticore 1 is healed. Let's send them out. Um... New Jericho Haven is under attack. New Jericho Haven. It's pretty... Attacking Force 16, defending Force 13. That's not great, so... Let's move there instead. I don't want to start the mission just yet, because I need to check my people. Please. Yeah, like, you need... Some ammo. And you needed a level up, but you're not on the manticore. This manticore. Gain mounted weapon proficiency. You don't have any mounted weapons. Brawler, we're not really doing it, but whatever. We'll go ahead and deploy. Anu and Snedrin won't like it very much, but I don't want to leave humans out to hang, out to dry here, so... Fort Zhang Shang? We're here to help. It's high threat level. It's at night time. 
but we're here to help. Before we help, just want to check everyone's willpower. Looking good. Alright, what do we have here? Oh god, what are you? Um, um, so we can see two things apparently. We can see a crab dude inside. That's cool. And then we can see this friggin' joker. The Chiron has a stomp shock attack, performs stomping attack, Affecting a 10 tile radius with a chance to shock. Damages, damage diminishes with range. And it has a goo abdomen with a blast radius and effective range. Goo 1 burst 3. Oh, so it's a, is it a big freaking, like, cannon? Blast radius, action points. So we can shoot something 40 tiles away it's a it's a giant uh grenade launcher i wish i could see what is 40 tiles away like help me game show me if i click on this guy you should show me his effective range that would be very helpful but i can tell you right now we're launching rockets of this jerk I was going to say something much cruder, but we're launching rockets with this jerk right off the bat. Get dusted. Well, um, that didn't do much. Did not do much. So, step one, avoid all red barrels. Step two, um, stay away from that big honking joker. It says if we move here, we can have a shot at it. I'm not confident in that, but I will spend some will points to move there. Well, we'll just run right to the wall, sure. Just bust the window out. Targeting. Okay, we do have a shot. An abdomen removes ability to launch goo bombs. Take out the head, it'll bleed by 20. The abdomen is really uh, armored, though. I'm sure it's got some legs down here, yeah. Removes the stomp attack. Let's, I mean, we could try to disable the head. Let's go for the torso. We could go for the abdomen, but it's pretty, it's pretty well armored. And if we go for the torso, he gets max hit points minus 200. And that sounds good. If we can disable it. won't be able to disable this turn, though. Yeah, we need better weapons at this point. We need something. Can we get a pistol shot in there? I doubt it. Well, yeah, it's a pretty big target, so... Take every little bit of damage we can get. I 
I don't like this. I don't even know if cover matters against this guy. But I kind of want to stay in it. And I don't want my people to be clustered up, so... On my way. Let's just focus fire on these guys. On, the, on these guys. This big guy. That's what I mean. Zooming in. Yes, please zoom in. So, I can only get shots at the legs. Not very armored. Abdomen. Abdomen, I'm not even sure I can sh hit. Because it's so uh, so armored. It's not even showing any that I'm going to do any damage. So, leg it is. to fire. We can go for the torso. We we'll, might, uh, might disable the head at the same time. Hey, come back here. We have inflicted, inflicted some virus damage, though, so it'll, its will points will get knocked out. It's got a lot of will points, though. Well, what you gonna do? Goo bomb? Um, okay, that's not what I was expecting. Steel what does gooed mean? Or does that mean just slowed? Or does that mean damaged? Uh, who are you? You stay over there, that'll be fine. Okay, you're not staying over there, you're coming closer. What is good? Can someone please tell me good? What does being good do? Unable to move until goo decays or is removed. Well, that's okay. Um, I'm a giant rocket launcher. I don't need to be moved. I don't need to move. Um... Gooing? Not that dangerous. I thought it would be explosive. Didn't think it would just be a big green jelly blob. Well, took out that building. Civilians are alive. Like, they're civilians? <laughs> I haven't seen any civilians. Where are they? I guess we have to find them. Your head's been disabled. You're pretty well knocked out. Sort of. Close to being knocked out, is what I mean. No, let's go for your sniper rifle, please. You've moved. So you're only presenting me your abdomen. I don't like that. I mean, there's your legs. I guess we do it. Go for the abdomen, even though it's pretty, uh, pretty armored. Ready to fire. Do have to be cautious. This guy's up here. They could take shots down at us, so this position's probably not healthy. And these guys are over here. So, again, I need to start wheeling to the side. I'm on the move. Can you see anything from there? I mean, you really can't, huh? On my way. See the Triton, but more. I'm not really concerned about this guy much anymore if he's just gonna goo us, but.
being good means we won't be able to move into good cover, and that's something a little concerning. What do you have? I just want to know. I just want to see your info. What weapon? Uh, assault rifle, a pretty close range assault rifle, and a blood sucking arm. So not too scary. Ready to engage. Infecting him with that virus. What what is your uh, virus count now? Sixteen. So your will points. You're 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 done for. You won't be able to do anything next turn. I don't think. I think you'll panic. Oh, you were able to hit me with that. Assault rifle. Oh, okay. You found a civilian. Found two civilians. Goo bomb incoming. Oh yeah, you're you're screwed, dude. Crab dude. Those civilians are toast. Okay, you're panicked, and you're going to die next turn because you're bleeding for 30, you have hit points 30. I need to launch an assault on this position they shot back so they didn't die getting pretty beat up though the only thing you can do is shoot at that thing I was hoping you'd be able to have some shot at you. I guess you've moved back. Okay. I need my sniper to get in some kind of position to do something. What can you see? You can see Crab Man. Moving to position. I see them. Oh, what did I see? Oh, you saw that crap, man. Okay. Heading out. Unfortunately, we don't have enough uh, points to use the sniper rifle now because we had to move. That's okay. Can't get two pistol shots. Pistol does pretty well against those guys as long as we don't hit the their armor. Oh, that's their level. The other episode I asked, what are these num what are these numbers up in the corner? That's their levels. All I need is a clear shot. Well, go ahead and take it. Kill the thing. Actually, don't kill the thing. That's wasteful. Um, it's gonna die. Instead, uh, Overwatch. Providing Overwatch. Hold the position. I guess I should have shot and then overwatch because I would have had enough points for that. Oh well. There's the track. I hit us pretty hard, somehow. Ouch. How are you getting how are you getting that angle? First time we've really seen them uh, <laughs> launch grenades. Can you move?
move yet? You can maybe heal yourself. You can move. Okay. Can we come out? I need to get an angle on this stupid guy up here. But before I take that shot, our sniper needs to do something. Okay, so our sniper can't hit this guy with a sniper rifle. But you can hit with the pistol. Well, we'll just take four pistol shots. I'm fine with that. did miss, in fact. Um, okay, well, I was thinking rain a uh, missile on top of this guy to try to flush out his cover, but it's our last missile, so maybe that's not a smart idea. Maybe what I will do instead is m reposition us and have a bit of a heal. Count to ten. Breathe. Now his angle should be pretty shot. And can you overwatch this position in case he comes down? Oh, there's another guy. Well, he came down. But we didn't do much. Oh, you went uh, invisible. Reposition the sniper. Ready to fire. Just got a machine gun and a launcher arm. Ugh. Um. Oh, you really missed? Really? You missed? Okay, well, take a reload. Reloading. Okay, don't have the shot. I don't care. Oh, you're out of points completely. I understand. Okay, well, grenade launcher guy has to be the target. And then somewhere out here is that triton. Let's go. So let's wait for him to show himself. Providing Overwatch. <laughs> Disabled the tire. That's fine. Well, we found you. I don't want to, uh... Well, I'll take the shot. I... I don't know if, uh, our soldiers get bonus XP from making the killing blow, or... If they just get XP for participating. So I was going to say maybe we could save the kills Aiming. for whoever we wanted to to level up. Well, well we might have only lost two civilians, hopefully. 
But unfortunately, now we have to go back and heal again. Because our Scarab's pretty beat up. And one of our guys was kind of beat up. Yeah, we lost two civilians. But now we have a new research project because we can research what the heck that big goo sucker was. Yeah, New Jericho loves me. The other people don't love me so much. Got some uh, New Jericho mech arms, though. Let's see. Shock, single strike, effective ring ones. So I have to really get up close and personal to smack the enemy. Um, but they have to remove a mind fragger ability, so they can just rip a mind fragger off of somebody. They can repair the scarab. Or they can heal, so that's great. I mean, we can turn our our weird uh, our our weird technician that has the the turrets into a healer. And we can please uh, Pandora and do Chiron autopsy, reverse engineer the arms. Oh, we need two of them to even start that. Uh, let's research the goo. And then the Chiron that shoots the goo. And let's head on home and heal. And Manticore 2, that's a layer. Unexplored site. Manticore 2, you can come check out these unexplored sites. Actually, I would say we could get another, could get another person. This is just the, the, uh, yeah, that's the, the vehicle. What do you have? You have a technician. I don't want one of those. Can't effectively use them. I don't know how. Another technician. Probably another technician. Technicians everywhere. Um... Yeah, you're just level one guy, so I don't want to get into a scrap with you. What I will do is... Can we put these arms on? Ooh, they're mounted. Sweet. Oh, we're over-encumbered, though, that's for sure. Okay, so we have one turret <laughs> that we'll have to pick up and take with us everywhere we go. And we'll put an energy pack and a turret magazine. Okay. If we moved all the way out here, I can't see. Okay. We could get a heavy, we could get a sniper. We could get just a regular assault, so Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's move there. Research complete. Pandoran Goo, an analysis of the substance referred to as goo by our field team and laboratory scientists has found it to be a mutated form of the Calbacter crescentus bacterium. The bacterium has Adhesive properties and thrives in wet spaces, although it does react negatively to oxygen. Ex experiments have shown that exposed to air, the substance dies in a matter of moments, rendering the goo harmless. The falcon cannot hear the falconer. We have received multiple reports of flocks of birds flying in strange, repeating spiral patterns. 
They persist in doing so until death from exhaustion or malnutrition. Unfortunately, we have been unable to locate a specimen to examine, so we cannot determine whether this anomalous behavior is a result of Pandora virus infection or not. Phoenix Echo will be attacked by Pandorans. Pandorans will reach Phoenix Echo in 10 hours. Okay, well, um... We'll head to Phoenix Echo. Where is Phoenix Echo? You're Phoenix Echo? Let's move there. Um... Can you heal in time? Well, you can heal at... Uh, Phoenix Echo, so... Let's check out our people. Equipment. Some weapons are not fully loaded. Well, what was not loaded? I thought I just loaded it. Guess I loaded the wrong guy. Alright, let's go protect Phoenix Echo again. Oh, Pandoran Citadel. Yeah, we'll need to take that out next turn. I think. Or next episode. Alright, well, the, um... Base defense is gonna happen again next episode, for sure. But this episode has been running long, so I'm not going to do it in this episode. I'll do it next episode. So, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope to see you again next time for Protecting Phoenix Echo one more time.